You don't need me to tell you that sooner or later, old man wrinkle is coming along for everyone. And if you have any doubts about that, uh, take a look in the mirror once uh, you've listened to me today. As we grow older, our bones begin to lose calcium and they become more brittle. Our skin loses its elasticity and shrivels. Uh, Age spots multiply. Uh, Our weight begins to shift from the poles of our bodies uh, towards the equator. Uh, Hair stops growing where we want it to grow and it starts growing in all these weird places and a nose or an ear trimmer just happens to become uh, very useful at times. We live in a society where people spend amazing amounts of money and use surgery and cosmetics and expensive clothes and physical training and pills that will supposedly take years off our lives to try and change how we look. Everyone's looking for the fountain of youth, something that will transform our lives and make us look and feel younger. Do you want me to let you into a wee bit of a secret? None of it works. None of it. However, Jesus does offer us a fountain of life, A fountain of life that soothes our souls and transforms us spiritually. In John chapter 4, while he was speaking to the woman at the well, this is what Jesus said. If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Now, as many of you will know, when Jesus was at the well with a Samaritan woman that day, Jesus broke a lot of protocols. First of all, he spoke to a Samaritan. And Jews weren't supposed to associate with Samaritans. Samaritans were seen as lesser people because they were Jews who had intermarried with pagans. And second, he talked to a woman who wasn't his wife. Now this was frowned upon way back in the first century. But both of these factors show that Jesus came that everyone might have life. Everyone without exception. Jesus asked the Samaritan woman for a drink of water, but he used this request to show her that he brought new life. And this was a big thing for this woman because she had messed up her life big time. She'd been married five times and the man who she was currently living with was just her live-in lover. If ever there was anyone who didn't deserve what Jesus was offering, it was this woman. Yet Jesus extended his grace to even the most troubled of people. Those who society looked down upon, those who other people may have saw as wasters, and those whose lives were all messed up and just looked to be totally hopeless. Folks, Jesus is a fountain of life for everyone. And that everyone includes you. And when we come to Jesus, Jesus gives us a fresh start. We can all have a new life that promises far, far more than this world can ever offer to us. So let me encourage you to stop looking for solutions to your problems in the world. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus in repentance and in faith and drink from the fountain of life. Know the power of Christ's forgiveness in your life and experience joy in your life that you've never, ever experienced before. God bless you all.